So hi Alex, uh, we're here Hello. at SSL um, and we're going to have a look at a beautiful uh, kind of hybrid, is it a hybrid or is it fully analog? Yeah, fully system? hybrid analog console. Okay. So the concept uh, of AWS when it was first released was an analog console that is also your workstation controller all in the same space so you're constantly in the middle of your speakers in the sweet spot. So the idea is you're always mixing in the place you want to be in which is in the middle. So we have 24 channels uh, of SS, SSL analog channels with mic pre's and SL EQ, switchable between the E series and the G series EQ curves. And then down this side, we also have a control section that is digital. And that's either controlling the analog channels on the desk or we're able to switch it over into a workstation controller. So now my faders are controlling Pro Tools. And then we're back to controlling the analog channels on the desk. So um, is this, are these all uh, mono channels or um, can they be kind of mono or stereo? Or? So we have two iterations of the AWS. Uh, one's called the 924, which is 24 mono channels, uh, kind of a standard configuration for AWS. Uh, more recently, we did the 948 release, which is this console here. And every single channel can be either mono, stereo, or we also have a third mode, kind of an inline mode, where you can have both uh, channels, left and right, split into two mono channels uh, with panning and processing on each path as well. So it's like having a 48 channel desk in kind of a much smaller space, really. So it's a lot of desk in a lot smaller space. Uh, one of the most, uh, one of the more recent things we've done for AWS was uh, incorporate the Delta Control uh, plugin. And this is a way that analog mixers with a workstation can automate their mixes and do any fader movements and switches they might need to do uh, on the console in the same workflow that they've been using with uh, Pro Tools or Logic or Cubase. So basically, we used to have a system that worked over time code, but now we have an automation system that works via a plugin in the DAW. So if I want to ride the vocal um, after my analog EQ and my analog compressor, so I don't want to adjust the level going into my compressor, uh, I'm able to insert the plugin, the Delta Control plugin into my workstation, uh, set it up for automation, and I move faders on the console, and those changes are reflected in the plugin. Okay, so and it will record that into the sequencer or yeah. into the door that you're using. Exactly the same as automating yeah. a plugin in your workstation. And that means you don't have to always use the console faders, you can draw that in, you can do it any way that you want to do, uh, same as any other plugin. But you can still sit at the desk and kind of ride it like a... Well, like the fun thing to do is stand desk. in front of the yeah, desk yeah. and actually ride it and go, yeah. yeah, this feels like I've made it. But then if you did push it a little bit too hard, you might be able to then go back in and, uh, and switch it and kind of... One of our, I guess, one of, more afterwards. of our traditional SSL users uh, who've used the, uh, our older legacy analog consoles will say the nice thing about Delta Control is the undo button which wasn't as easy on previous systems. But yeah, now I can make any automation moves and write over it really quickly. Excellent, and um, it's available now, is it? Or um, is it fully available right now? Yeah. Excellent, well, thank you very much for seeing yeah, Thank you very much, Sonic State.